I'm Lori and come on into my sewing room. I retired two years ago and I decided I have was going to take my guest room and turn it into a sewing room. The first thing I did was to buy a cutting table and this is my cutting table. It's actually at a higher height and I really like that so that I can um, cut easily and not bought, hurt my back. The other thing I did was put it on sliders that I bought at a hardware store. So I can slide this table with two fingers in it. And that way, when I do have guests, I can move the table over and the guests can, one fell off, and the guests can, um, I can get caught in here. The second thing that I did was to buy these, also at a hardware store, 12 inch boxes and these I try and keep every I try and keep like things together so I've got all my rotary cutteries cutters and if you go into your so all of your stuff and clean it out you will not believe how many rotary cutters you might have scissors embroidery scissors and seam rippers I had a million seam rippers I was really shocked to find out I also keep all my fat quarters down here in little bins, which is really helpful. So come on over here and I'll show you my soap, my ironing area. So again, I'm going to move this table, which is harder to move now because I lost the leg. This is my ironing area. It's next to my cutting table. I have all my ironing things right in one place so that I can use starch or a pressing cloth or whatever I need to do. I also bought this lamp that was empty inside online and I put all the buttons in there that the kids actually helped me, the grandkids helped me put those in there and pick their favorite ones to go in there. And this also I made my own shape which you can do by taking any kind of fabric and making a little wrap for it so it turns out really well that also up here is my bulletin board and i always leave pre-threaded needles so that if i need to have a quick needle it's right there and ready to go my rulers are all stashed out i have things just one of everything over here so that i can use it when i iron or when i need cutting so I don't have to run to the other side of the room. My pride and joy are these cupboards. These cupboards are made by Closet Made um, with the collection of Inspira. And these come out, these actually bend down so you can get your thread. And I can put all my thread in there. I also have little bins that you can buy extra to put in there that are very long to keep brick racks, your strips, all of that. And of course, everybody has a junk drawer. And that's my junk drawer. I also have more storage down below with the same setup, just a different. And this one has a place, and I'm going to move out of the way, for all my hoops for because I'm in a machine embroiderer. So that's pretty cool. I love it. And down here is just more storage, same setup. So now if we go over to the closet, I'm going to open this up because this is where I keep all my books, my current projects. These are towels to be embroidered on, so those are all in one area. And this has worked out really well for me. The other side of the closet, which is... I have stools in so when the uh, grandkids come over they can grab a stool and sit at the, the cutting table and do their arts and crafts or whatever they want to do there. Coming over to my last area is another place where my machine is that I just love and I've got I had cabinets put in up here so um, up here are uh, my mom's old featherweight sewing machine. I'll leave that open so you can see that a little bit. So that's really fun to have. I also store yardage. I don't keep a lot of fabric in my house, but you always collect some. I'm sure you're all the same. And over here are, is my AccuCutter 
uh, dies. And so those are stored there. And my AccuCutter is in my closet. <coughs> Excuse me. And the last thing I want to show you is where I keep my stabilizers for my embroidery machine. I keep these behind the door. You can buy this at a lot of places. And I have a basket with some more. And that's it. So thanks for coming.